Okay, welcome. So in this video, we're going to talk about, or I'm going to show you how to um, start writing your first program in Scratch. It's going to be called Hello World. This is a typical program that most first-time programmers write in a new language just to, get a fam just to get themselves familiar with the program and with how it works. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my screen capture mode and we're going to walk you through the first parts of Scratch. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started and hopefully you're seeing this okay. Alright, so you can see I've started by going into my email. So I'm going to go here and to get to Scratch, you can search for it, but I think it's easier to go into Classroom and make sure you're not in your personal email and go to your your class here in Google Classroom. I'm just going to pick one around. Go to the About tab scroll down and there's the Scratch site. Now you can do these things, you can write this first program even if you're, you haven't had your account enabled yet. I'm gonna go ahead and use my, um, use my account. I will show you how to download a file. Oops. Okay, so now I'm in under my Scratch account. If you want to, you feel free to customize this however, however you would like. All right, so I'm going to start by going into Create and I'm gonna pause for a little bit here and have it come up. All right, so we've gone through, hopefully you've kind of started getting to familiar with the settings here. I always start by giving this a file name. So we're going to go Oops, hello world. So hello world or hello, hello world is a program that a lot of programmers start off um, writing um, just to kind of get familiar with the program, um, the compilers and all that wonderful stuff. This is going to be a very basic program that um, you're going to want to look at the, um, look at the assignment description to get your pre, to get your pre-write, get what you want or what the, um, Hold on here. Plug in my laptop. So I don't run out of battery on you. That would just be annoying. Okay, there we go. So, um, where was I? Oh, look at get the the specifications that you want to write for this program. You're going to do your rough draft. I'm going to um, go ahead and assume we've already done the rough draft. I'm going to kind of coach you through that in class tomorrow a little bit, or. Um, whenever we get to that. So start off here. We're going to have your little scratch cat. We're not going to get into too much with sprites. Uh, let you kind of discover that on your own. So first we're going to start with a control and or an event. Excuse me. We're going to start off with an event. And I'm going to start with a simple event of a space bar. And that's going to be the start of my program. And then I want my cat to move around. So I want it to start off when it when I hit the space bar. I want my sprite to point towards my mouse pointer. Okay, so I'm going to have it point towards my mouse pointer, and then I'm going to have the cat move to the mouse pointer. Now the nice thing is I can start my program, press the space bar, and you can see it'll follow me to wherever it goes. Okay, so that's the nice thing about this little stage area here is you can get a sense of what how things are going to affect. All right, the next part of this is we want the cat to say something. And you would think that you would go into sound and you know have it play a sound meow or you know choose Oops, sorry about that choose from any other recordings or anything like that. I'm finding that the recording feature doesn't work too well in these computers. I need to figure out why it doesn't work with Scratch. So, um, but really, it's a look. So you want the cat to look like it's saying hello. However, before it says hello world, I want it to go back to the center point. So, um, what I can do is I'm gonna say, after you, I'm gonna put in a control. I'm gonna say, you know what? Go to where the mouse pointer is. Wait for a second, and then I want to say, go to zero. Oops. <coughs> point 
zero zero. So let's see if that works. <coughs> okay, so now I've got it back, and then you got your looks. Now I want it to say hello. Here you can see I see hello world or hello. I can click on that and say hello, whoops, hello world for two seconds. So let's see what happens here. Press the space bar, go back, it says hello world. Not bad. So there's our first program. Now there's gonna be some other features that I'm gonna add you to or ask you to add into that. Be sure to check the um, assignment description for more information on what I want the program to do exactly. If you have any questions regarding this, feel free to um, check out the tips area and the blocks and the type of block you want. It's a great place to start as well as the help menu um, in the first um, on the first screen when you um, first sign in. Good luck and I look forward to seeing you. Okay, very quickly, uh, I'm just going to wrap things up here. Again, so you just saw an intro into Scratch in the Hello World program. I would make sure that you double check and read through the assignment description in either Skyward and or Google Classroom to get the specifics of what I want this program to do. Because there's going to be more than what I showed you in the video. I just showed you the very basics. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com. And... <laughs>